Well, hello there, children. This is Afro Joe Ten. I can tell you this again. I'm doing this video about this girl. And I feel bad, bad about this girl because this girl is beautiful. And what it is about this story is that when she was young and like 11 years old, her mom was never there for her. Father's not in the picture. Mom not there for her because she said her, daughter, said her mom didn't help whatsoever in her life. And uh, what happened was that this girl was pimped and molested at a young age because well what happened was the girl was pimped out and molested at the age of 13 by a guy named George Gilbert uh, forgot his last Howard George Gilbert Howard or GG to people and I feel bad for this girl because this girl didn't have a life whatsoever what happened was with this is that when she was like 11 years old her mom was never there for her and didn't treat her it, it's kind of sad about this because the girl was 11 years old where she got raped and molested by this George Howard's fella or Gigi to his friends because he was in his 30s and he raped and molested this girl at 11 years old by the time she hits 13 this the Gigi fella pimped her out to people three years later she shot and killed her pedophile pimp and she's got like and she got sentenced to life in prison with no parole because she killed her pedophile parent. And, it, and it's kind of messed up about hearing this story about this girl, 16 years old, killing her pedophile parent. Now, what the hell is this girl supposed to do? Oh, you could say, oh, she can run, but you got, but you don't, but you don't know this case. This happens in the 90s. The girl was pimped out when she was 11 years old. The story, his headlines back in the day, it even reached Dr. Phil. They had to re they, and when I watched it, I was so mad. Not, not at, not at the girl. I was mad at the mom and how the justice system, the justice system failed her. You say, well, it, it does to every kid out in the world. It does that to every kid around the country. Like, it didn't work for Trayvon Martin. It didn't work for Casey, Anthony, Casey Anthony's daughter it didn't work out the government always says the, teach, the government, the schools the politicians always say children is our future how can children be our future when the government doesn't want to protect them or the parents doesn't want to protect them or the teachers doesn't want to protect them this is 90 this, this happened in the 90's in the 90's he probably was like Joe after Joe why are you doing the story about this girl that happened in the 90's because when I saw the story I was heartbroken that could be because one thing you gotta think about that could be your daughter that could be your niece that could be your cousin that could be your granddaughter your grandniece or whatever it can be your child being pimped out like that at a young age Now you sit up and you got all these laws, child abuse, child neglect, child molestation, all these laws protecting the child. But every day, you turn on the news or read the paper, there's some child getting killed, getting raped, getting molested, getting beaten up, committing suicide, so on and so forth. And you look at, and, and, and the first thing people do, they look at Obama. Obama, why ain't you doing nothing? You got to remember, this shit has been happening since day one before Obama ever got in office, before Obama 
even ran for president before his mommy even gave birth to him it happened before Obama and y'all want to look at oh it's Obama's fault no it's not it's not Obama's fault it's the people that he works for it's not like you could say oh he works for us well you could say that but it's the people that's in Congress that our that our government has failed our kids our governments fail our kids so why it's like why did this girl get life in prison because she's getting raped pimped out and molested every day for three years for three years when she was 13 years old she was raped molested and pimped for three years till she was 16 this happens in California now 2000 I read 2011 <laughs> Honor, uh, Honor Schwarzenegger wanted to uh, change to give her a lighter sentence like uh, 25 years like, why would you give this girl 25 years after she's been through hell and back? And it's one thing, it's one thing, oh, she committed murder. She had to, she committed murder, she killed somebody, she took somebody's life, but her life's been taken from her. How do you sit there and say, well, she committed suicide. She killed somebody, so she goes to prison for taking her life. You need to think back that this girl was 11 years old, and some grown ass man taking her life away from her by having abusing her, having sex with her, and pipping her out every damn th every damn day for three fucking years. Three years, and you put her in prison because she had to. She wanted to get out. She couldn't run away because all he would have did was came back and got her. She couldn't, her mama wasn't going to help her. She could have ran to the police. Police wouldn't believe her. And that's how it is. And there's people out there that's trying to get her free. Just trying to get her free and all this and that. And I'm, I'm going to say that she needs to be free. She's in her 30s now, and I feel bad because she was born in 1976. Uh, well, I think in the 70s. And, and I look at it like this. I said, this girl went through hell. And she went through hell and back. And the only way to get out of that was to do what she had to do. See, in cases like this, in cases like this where a child is put in a position that they gotta make adult choices. Uh, make an adult choices. They gotta do what they gotta do to survive. This girl was put in an adult situation. She either had to do two things: kill or be killed. And that's the, and that's how it is: killed or be killed. Well, you, I know y'all say, oh, Joe, Afro Joe, you act like she's in pri you act like this is a prison thing. Well, she's in prison in California. The judge gave her life in prison because she got molested. Now, come on now. You got to think about this, ladies and gentlemen. That this girl's been raped, molested, pimped. Nobody came, nobody came to save her. Nobody. But we act like we're supposed to bow down and praise the pedophile that molested her and pimped her out for three years. And that's how it is. People think that we're supposed to, oh, the pedophile, oh, the poor pedophile, oh, poor pedophile, oh, I feel bad for the pedophile. This little girl done killed you, all. Oh. I'm sorry if you would allow I'd let you raise my kids. You think we're supposed to feel sorry for the people that molested or do our children wrong? You can't send your kids to school because you get bullied and you get teachers want to have sex with them. You can't send them to church because the preachers want to molest them. You can't send them home because you got a loved one molesting and beating on them and killing them. 
you can't put them out in the street because if they join, if they, if you put them out in the street, what happens? Rape, murder, gang, suicide, drugs. And that's how it is. And that's how it is. That, that I, I don't get how this girl can have life in prison with no parole after she's been pimped out, raped and molested and did wrong. And her parents, when her mother wasn't there, her father wasn't there to protect her and save her. They say her mom was a drug drug addict. Now you gotta. Now I, I question this because every day we see the same thing over and over again. Kids committing suicide because of bullying or cyberbullying. Kids getting raped or molested by family members or a preacher or a teacher. Kids getting pregnant at a young age. Uh, kids not having the right uh, people. Kids are not getting the things they need out of life, like the uh, like an. Uh, Coach Carter. Now you think about the movie Coach Carter, where he told the basketball players, he said, "I don't want them to think that basketball is the only thing, the only thing they got or they can do." And. And that's how it is. See, P see, today's societies, kids don't have a chance. You say kids do have a chance, but they don't. They go to school, and these teachers fill their head. Oh, you can play basketball. You'll be a good athlete. I don't want to send my, if I had kids, I don't want to send my kids to school and say, basketball is the only thing you got. Or not hooking them up with the right information or giving them what they need to survive out in the real world the information the knowledge of what to do when you get out of school now you know there's so many kids dropping out of school today it's pathetic see you can't even send your kids to college because college is too damn high once they get into college and they graduate from pro college the degrees don't mean jack and that's how it is man I, and I question this Every day, it's like, it's like, it's like, why do, why, why do, why bring a, why bring a child into this world? Why bring a child into this world and the child cannot survive? You bring a child into this world, the child will never survive because there's te there's people that don't want to teach your kids nothing. And it, it, it makes me think, it's like, in this situation, it makes me think, it's like, the government, it makes me think that the government failed the children. It failed everybody. Because this girl's still in prison, and she was only 16. See, when you put kids in adult situations, like she was, she had to make adult decisions. And that's wrong to do to a child, is put a child in an adult situation where they got to make adult decisions. Now she's paying for it. To me, I want her to be free. I want her to be free. Afro Joe is supporting this girl because she had to do something to get out of the situation. Like I'm gonna post a, several video, like a video of the situation of Doctor uh, from Doctor Phil's show, where where she had to do what she had to do to get out of the situation, but she had to pay for it. I did not know being molested and pimped out for three years when laying her in prison for the rest of her damn life. You can sit there and say, oh, poor child, but she killed a man. She killed a pedophile. That wasn't a man. Gigi Howard was not a fucking man. He was a fucking predator. It's alright. It's, it, it, it's funny that 
you put a pedophile in prison for some odd years and he can get he or she can get back out and do it again but when a child is put in this position like she was she gets life in prison with no parole how come she gets life in prison because she was pimped out and molested as a child but when a pedophile fucks up he gets a small amount of time in prison and he can he or she can get out and rape or molest or or anything to a child again. There's been cases where teachers been caught and arrested and prosecuted and landed in prison, spend time in prison, get out and not register as a pedophile but go and teach at another school. And they and they do it every day. There's some pedophiles that will get out, not register and go right. That's all they do. Get out, go not rest to go right but it's sitting up here looking at this girl saying that this girl to me the girl did the right thing but to sit here and watch this girl suffer like this is very wrong and not the way to do like I said you should never put a child in an adult situation because they don't know what to do they don't have the tools the materials to use to get out of a situation like that and she didn't have the material or nothing. She didn't have nobody to help her. Father wasn't there. Mother wasn't there. What could she do? Oh, you could you gonna say she could have ran the po to the police? You know how hard it is to convince a police officer I've been right to in these times. It's very hard. Because you see kids get arrested every damn day. It's hard for a kid to commit. I've been raped. I've been molested. Bam. It's hard to do that these days because so many kids have been arrested to doing breaking it. Well, you can sit there and say, well, you can sit there and say, well, Joe, you're wrong. Any kid can tell the police officer they've been doing this and this and this. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I had a friend of mine. He was dating this girl. And this girl have five kids. This is this is what happens when the government, the police, and all this don't want to help no fucking no help nobody. Excuse me when I said the F word, but help nobody. And she lived in this neighborhood I knew so well. And every day she called child. Every day the people in that neighborhood would call child service on her. Every day for child neglect, child abuse, and all this and that. And every day child uh, child services said we can't find nothing. We can't find nothing. They say they couldn't find nothing, but you tell me why one of her kids is dead and so is my friend. And you can't and you can't sit up and say, Oh, it was it was who it was just her fault. It was child services fault too. Child services, DHS, whatever initials they use to call themselves child services what they is. But that's how it is. When child services doesn't want to do their job, if they got many calls to about a parent abusing a child, why don't you do your job and remove the child from the house? from the home and place them somewhere where they can be taken care of for. This child was never helped and she spent the rest of her life in prison. And that's bad business right there when you put a child in an adult situation. I know you're getting tired of me saying that I put the child in an adult situation but that's how it is. girl spent her life spent from 16 all the way to her 30s in prison just missed her childhood never graduated from high school never gone to college girl don't even know from 11 to in her 30s she don't know she's been a prisoner she was molested and raped by a pimp named G.G. Howard by the time she was 13 she was pimped out as a prostitute for three years and when she k killed him as she had this that was her last resort to kill him to get away to be free she spends the rest of her life in prison from 11 to 30 in her 30s she's been in prison from 11 to 30 she's been in prison and ain't nobody lended a hand to help her until her story came out into the light. And I agree with people saying Trayvon Martin's story wasn't the only story where justice has failed. 
Justice Hansfeld for every kid in the world. She is one of them. And you probably say, how you gonna compare Trayvon Martin to this girl? Gotta think about it. Trayvon Martin was killed. What happened? The murderer walks free. This girl's been molested from the ages of 11 to 16. And nobody helped her. Nobody helped her. And you wonder why kids come out so messed up. It's because what the parents don't do. It's because what the justice system don't do. It's because of what of child services don't do. It's because them people that you call House of Representatives don't do. Them people that sit up in Congress, up in House of Representatives, screwing over your kids. It's, you can say, say, well, we got to vote for... You gotta vote for a new president. No, it's not the president that's causing this. It's the people that works in House of Congress, House of Congress, House of Representatives, whatever. Your mayor, your governor, your senator, it's them. Don't lay this on Obama. It's all them people. Your mayor, your governor, your senator, your congressman. It's the people in the House of Representatives. It's them people just screwing your kids over and you. Don't sit there and say, oh, I love my kids. But don't sit there and say, oh, I love my kids so much. But why are your kids up there selling that, selling that booty on the street corner? Why aren't your kids in the game? Why are your kids are getting pregnant at a young age? Why aren't your kids doing drugs or selling drugs? Why aren't your kids stealing? Why aren't your kids killing? You are the parent, not a friend. You are a parent. When they hit 20, when they graduate from high school and they go into college or they get a job and start being, start when they get a job, get their own home, start their own little family, that's when you can be a friend. And a, That's when you can be a friend. You're still going to be a parent, but that's when you're going to be a friend too. When they move the hell out your house and get a job and have their own stuff to pay for. But for now, man, Teach your kids from right from wrong. Be there in their lives. Be there for them when they need you. Don't sit there and say, oh, I love my kids, but you don't acknowledge your kids. You don't be there for your kids. You don't help your kids when your kids need help. Don't be so selfish to it. Don't be selfish. Because that's what's wrong with parents. They're so damn selfish. This girl needs 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 to be free man I say it for real I support this girl and I think this girl needs to be out walking around in the real world so she know what life is about this girl deserved to be free not in prison to me I think she did the right thing just to get away from an issue I feel bad that she got put in a position where she had to act she had to think like an adult just to get free I think that the justice system did fail her. I think they should have did the right thing of killing this guy to get away. Because one thing is, that's one less pedophile to worry about in the world. That's one less. Well, you saying that I get the good thing to kill a pedophile? Well, they get killed in prison. It, it, in some countries, if a grown man molest a child, they get killed in the street. How come that? How come y'all say? How come y'all gonna look at me like, oh, he said kill a pedophile? That's just wrong. But y'all let them people down in Texas and what? What, what is it? Uh, the 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 the, the big the, the the big area. Well, I forgot. Uh, them people down in Texas where them kids, all them kids got taken away from the parents. All them grown men marrying them down. Man, them damn 16 years and getting them pregnant. Y'all don't say nothing about that, but when it's this girl, the kid a pedophile, oh, y'all ready to jump the gun and say she's a murderer. But y'all won't say nothing about them people down in Texas up there sleeping and having kids with them 16 year olds, making them parents before they even know what the hell to do. I forgot what this, this that, that, uh, uh, not Columbine, no, it's that, uh, it's the thing with the, the big church and, the guy got the leader got arrested. I forgot what was he called. 
the yeah, and they was having sex with teenagers and getting them pregnant, and that's why some of them left and they didn't want to go back. And that still goes on today, and y'all still won't do nothing. Y'all won't bust a great. Y'all won't bust a great just to do nothing. But this girl, y'all think she deserved to be in jail for getting a pedophile. I'm glad she did. I give her prompts on that, man. <laughs> but like I said, man, this girl deserved to be free. Her name is Sarah. I'm going to put her last name up in there. And I want y'all to support this girl, man. This She's in a, in prison in California. She's in prison in California. And for real, coming from a brother that's in Tennessee, man, this girl's getting a lot of support from one person from Tennessee all the way to California. And for real, to my followers out there, man, y'all better think about what you're doing when you get half kids. You better love your kids like you love your money. You better love your kids like you love your life. Because one thing is, once you have that kid, it is your job, your duty to protect them and teach them about life. And the bit, there's a question that everybody asks, what's the meaning of life? And I always say, the meaning of life is life is a lesson to be learned. That's the meaning of life. Like I said to this Sarah, I give you a lot of respect, man. I, I give you a lot of props. I give you a lot of props for doing what you had to do, even though it was the wrong thing, but I still give you props because that was the last resort you had. You don't deserve to be in prison. You deserve to be free like everybody else out in the world. Ten like a T I S, man. This is Afro Joe. Ten like a T I S. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel. Silo G two. Silo G three. Tell me what you think. Cause one thing is, it's it's a bitch that this girl had to go through a lot. And I'm gonna post some uh, links to the Doctor Phil episode where this story is out. Peace, love, and Afro grease. I hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all support this girl and help this girl get out of prison because she definitely don't need to be in there. She was in prison ever since she was 11 years old to now. And if y'all if y'all give this video, look, man, I'm waiting for this video to go to Dr. Phil to show a hey, one person just doesn't even have a big name supports this girl. If people could, if if Jamie Foxx and Jay Z can support the Trayvon family, Trayvon Martin family, this brother from YouTube can support this girl because kids like these don't deserve to end up like end up where they're at now. And that goes for every kid out there in the world that's been put in these positions. This has been Afro Joe. Peace, love, and Afro.